Hello everyone. Welcome to Redline Diecast Calls. Today's video is going to include the cars that are going to be sold on February 11th. That would be tomorrow, Friday, on a Facebook site called Studio Redline. Studio-Redline, it's your source for quality redlines. I run typically every Tuesday, but this week I'm running tomorrow, Friday, and then next week, Tuesday the 15th, and then hopefully um, consistently every Tuesday moving forward. I'll have cars um, for the next several months, and I hope that you can join. The part of the offering for this Friday, the 11th of February, starting at 6 p.m. Central on Studio-Redline, is this red US with black roof, Custom Camaro, white interior. It's a beaut. Very little hood nick issue. Consistent color all the way through. It's red. Nice car. Along with this is going to be a variety of. Actually, I have some black walls in the group. Some enamels. Here's something a little blast in the past here. A little double header. You've, you've seen this car before. Maybe you haven't seen it this clean. The double header. The enamel, green, pretty nice. Double header. Notice the uh, straight through axles. By the time it got to the 73s and such, this was the time when Mattel was uh, cutting down on costs of manufacturing and uh, they're looking to find ways of still producing cars this was a one and done right here because of how big it is and uh, the amount of money that went into the manufacturing. Ferrari 512S, of course, you know this car as the opening, the dual opening hatches, front and back. Nice red. Open fire and magenta. Nice clean one here. What a beast down the track, huh? The center axles float, of course, you know that. Nice reds. It's based on a uh, Gremlin, AMC Gremlin back in the day. Design that was extended with a couple of aircraft engines. <laughs> Talk about power. Here, I'll show you something. Interesting. I actually have a Gremlin grinder as a part of the offering for this Friday. Nice clean one, too. This is a um, the green variation. There's a, also a chrome variation. Nice little Gremlin grinder here. Someone's going to get a nice little example. These enamels are tough to find clean. There's also a Herfies rendition of this model. So look at the um, look at the casting here. See what I'm talking about? What Mattel did with the Gremlin? <laughs> Isn't that cool? I got a gas out of that. It is cool. For you 1968 enthusiasts, yes, we're gonna have a Hong Kong purple custom firebird. Really consistent purple in this car. Nice little buggy there. And then as I mentioned, we're gonna have a couple of black walls in this uh, offering. And uh, I thought I would include this uh, Hemi hauler for you in gold. Beautiful tampos on this one. Drop works. And it is not broken. Hemi hauler. Gold, gold, gold. Hot pink tri baby. Beautiful finish. 
This is a car that uh, if you put under a black light, it'll transform into a glowing ball of beautiful Spectra Flame in all of its glory. There's your tri-engines. You collect pinks. Is hot pink one of your favorites? You know, it's a, um, there are several people that I know out there, serious redline collectors, that really pursue the, the pinks, if you will. I have a bunch of pinks. Not for uh, that is the only one for this particular auction, but uh, I have a, several creamy pinks, uh, hot pinks, in different castings. This is a spoiler sport. You recognize that. Sometimes you'll see this one with the after the red line ear with the black walls on them. Nice clean one here. Spoiler sport. No parachute in the back. But there's a couple different variations. I think two. This has a two of windows. No parachute. Spoiler sport. Put that in your collection with red lines. Yeah, it's a nice one. And then a car that you see often, but maybe not as clean, McLaren in gold. No stickers. No roundels. How clean this one is. What a sweet car. I love gold. What do we pick here? Eeny, meeny, miny, mole. Well, you know what? I'm kind of digging this one here. Talked about an AMC before with the Gremlin. AMC also made the custom, well, the AMX, and Mattel made the custom AMX. What a beaut, huh? Little hood nick there, not too bad. Yeah, white interior, of course, the Alcane white interior. Nice tail light package in the back. And then uh, this one I don't have that often, but it's going to be available, the Rash 1. Open wheel, nice tampo, pretty clean. Sweet 16 in blue enamel, Sweet 16. Yeah, caps in the back. Straight through axles in the front. Nice buggy we got in the back here. Open up the hatch, what's inside? Yep, spare cap wheel. Someone's get themselves a nice little sweet 16 on Friday. Sweet car. You know, talking about enamels, I also uh, found some Shell Promo uh, items. This is one of them. I've got several. Not for a Friday. This is the only one for Friday for Shell. Besides, um, let's see. I think, yeah, I think that's it. Is a, a peeping bomb. Yellow enamel. Ooh, that's a nice one. Too bad. Not praying. And then, you know what? I found this um, really unusual Porsche 917 that... You know, the thing about this car is it's a really unusual fade of green. Look at this here. You see the side here, the green? Look how it fades to practically nothing. Cool, huh? Hmm. Nice package, sticker package. Beautiful. Ooh, yeah. Nice tail lights is back in it, the black matted paint. Very unusual color. I don't see, don't have one like that ever before that in that light. Another light color um, beast down the track would be the uh, six shooter. Right? This is the Hong Kong version. Little six shooter action here. Tail lights pretty darn nice. A lot of times are worn off completely. Do have some, this is also has a floating center axle. Six shooter. In very light blue. Sweet car. What, 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 what? Here, oh, black wall. Thrill driver in white. There's also a red variation. Little, little, little scuffed up here, but very, very tough car to find. 
especially with the tampos still intact. It's real drivers. Hong Kong, plastic base, of course. It's real driver. Tough little nugget to get in your collection. Tough, tough, tough to find. It came in that box with the track and such. What else do we have here? What would you be interested in, maybe? How about a, um, a Light My Firebird in blue? Original roundel. That'll be some values, too, on, to, on Friday. Someone get some nice red lines for inexpensive. There's a show on us, black ball. I have a red line version of this. Not to, not on Friday, but I'll be running that in a week or so or two weeks. Show Haas Black Wall. Purple Vet. Custom Corvette. This is the US purple. Nice little nugget here, huh? Head in red. This was a beast down the track too, isn't it? Heavier than heck. Only made them one year. <laughs> Reason being is because there's so much to it. Cost a Mattel a mint to make those. A little woody action here. Nice woody in red. Sweet Spectra Flame on that one. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's a nice one. A Ally 55 Chrome. Nice tampos. Straight through axles on both sides. I always like the nice tampos, don't you? Nice and clean, nice and sharp. Yeah, something you can really be proud of to add to your collection. I have a Cockney cab in green. This one does have the um, the Union Jack in the back. Speaking of the Who, huh? What a coincidence. <laughs> T for two. Ooh, this is a nice clean one too. Original roof. You see, there's no dimple on the top, so you know that's original. Jet Threat's going to have a um, Jet Threat with a aftermarket sticker. That's an aftermarket sticker there. Jet Threat in green. A couple more here. I wanted to get through the trays if I could. Yep, two more. Two more here. This is a really nice hot heap in green. Sweet little car here. Look at that grill. Ooh, clean. Yeah. So I hope you can join on uh, this Friday, starting at 6 p.m. Central and Studio Redline. I'll be auctioning off all these cars. I hope you're able to join. And you know what? Even if you don't buy, <clears throat> nice to have you in the house. This is a nice little, um, you know, a couple little water slides on this Mercedes-Benz 280 SL. I don't know what those are there, but it's a nice clean white one, white interior, I should say. Anyway, um, <clears throat> if you can join and... Uh, That'd be great. Now, I want to ask you if you could please give this video a thumbs up, right? Like and subscribe, share. This is something that I love doing and I can share with you some of the Redline era gems that I'm able to find and offer to you to add to your collection. So uh, do subscribe, like and share. As I mentioned, the uh, Redline diecast calls is dedicated to the Redline and the Blackwall era, um, 1968 through approximately 1982, depending on what I can get my hands on and offer to you. But until then, hope to see you on Friday and then every Tuesday coming up the next several months, God willing, I'll be able to run quality red lines and some nice quality black walls for you. All right, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.